This video demonstrates how to use command line with an IDE. An IDE could be something like Genie or Microsoft Visual Studio. And then an example of an IDE on Mac is Xcode. So we'll open our IDE and we're going to create a program uh, that uses command line. And where I'm going to save that program is in a folder called progargs. I've opened progargs here. You can see it's empty. So let's get Genie loaded. And I'm going to just paste in a program, uh, a very simple program. And all this program is going to do is take in two command line arguments. There's the first one and the second one from the user and use those arguments to produce an output. So that first argument is going to be the name and the second argument is going to be an age. And that's, that's all there is to this program. So let's save it. I'm going to save it on the desktop where I had prog args in that folder. I'm going to name this, uh, let's say, args.cpp. Okay, so it's saved as args.cpp. And there it is. It's showing up now inside of that folder. Excellent. So let's build. There it built. And let's execute. And we execute, we get that the program seems to have kind of locked up, stopped working. And there's a simple reason for that, which is the program was expecting these two arguments to be passed in via command line, but we didn't. We just ran the program um, by clicking the execute or in other IDEs it might be run. So what we need to do is open up the command line. So I'm going to do that by searching on Windows. You can search for command prompt by typing in CMD. Uh, this is Windows 8, so that's the way we search is by opening up a bar on the right hand side. But the more classic Windows operating systems would use the start button down at the bottom left and from there you'd click on search or run and we look for CMD. What we're really looking for here is something called command prompt. This is just Windows command line and you'd have a similar situation if you're using a Mac machine uh, where you'd be looking for the terminal. So uh, just some basic uh, command line is to move around the directories. We can see the directory we're here is users and Alex and what we need to get to is my desktop. So I'm going to type in CD for change directory and then desktop. Okay now I'm in my desktop and as you can see there's a concatenation here users Alex and then when I typed in CD desktop I moved into the folder desktop which is located inside of the folder named Alex. The next thing I need to do is from the desktop I need to move into this folder prog args. So I'm going to change directory to prog args. There you can see it's now concatenated to be prog args. And you'll notice a similarity here between this file path or folder path and the folder path inside of the window. They're actually identical path. Okay, so now I'm in this folder in the command line. Here I'm in the folder prog args and there's my executable the program I'd like to run. So I'm just going to type in the name of that program which is args.exe. Let's see what happens. Ah, we get that same program stopped working for the same reason which is the program is expecting two arguments to be passed in and the first argument is supposed to be a name so I'll put in my name and the second argument is supposed to be an age so I'll put in um, I don't know 28. Alright, now if we run the program we get, hello Alex, 28 is a great age. And that's the expected output from hello, whatever the first argument is, period. Then the second argument, which is the age, is a great age. So that's the basic idea of using command line along with an IDE.